Now, let us proceed with the next subtopic on our chapter, which is 5.2 on scalar product. Alright, so to find the direction angles of vector AB, first, we need to check the value for AB, the vector AB. So, to find vector AB, what we need to do is... If you recall back, we need to have OB minus with vector OA. Right, so taking vector OB, so vector OB is given this B over here. So we have 2I minus J plus 3K, this vector, minus with OA. So A, vector A over here, is given by 3I plus 2j minus k. Alright, and then we just div uh, subtract these two vectors. We're going to have negative i minus 3j and then plus with 4k. This is the vector for a, b. And then we also need to remember that in order for us to get to the direction cosines, we also need to find our magnitude for the vector. So now, finding our magnitude of AB, that is equals to negative 1 squared plus with negative 3 squared plus with 4 squared. And then, the square root of these numbers. And now, our magnitude for vector AB is given by square root of 26. So, having these two values, now we proceed to the direction angles of these vectors. So, what we have over here is first, you need to check with the direction cosines. So, the direction cosine is cos alpha is given by the first component of A1 is negative 1 divided by z 26. Okay, so the direction angle is alpha equals to inverse cos of negative 1 over z 26. And that is going to be equals to 101.31 degrees. That is for cos alpha. Now, checking our cos beta, we will take the component of the second one. So, we will have negative 3 divided by z 26. And then, beta will be cos inverse of negative 3 divided by z 26. That will give us the value of 100 and 26.04 degrees. So now the last one, cos gamma for our vector is given by 4 over z 26. And then finding our gamma, we'll take cos inverse of 4 over square root of 26. Right, so having this, now we will have that the value for angle gamma is equal to 38.33 degrees. Okay, so that is how we find our direction angle from our direction cosines. So I hope you understand this example. Now let us look at the conclusion for subtopic 5.2. The first one that we have already learned is the scalar product or dot product. It is given by the formula of A1 times B1 plus A2 times B2 plus A3 times B3 also can be defined as magnitude A times magnitude B times cos theta. From the formula of the dot product, we can also find the angle between two vectors. So the angle between two vectors, theta, is given by cos inverse of A dot B divided by magnitude A times magnitude B. The next properties that we have already learned is for the parallel between two vectors. If vector A is parallel to vector B, then we can say that A is equal to lambda B 
or a dot b is equals to plus minus of magnitude a times magnitude b. Next, if we have vector a is perpendicular to vector b, meaning that if we take the dot product between vector a and vector b, a dot b, it is going to be equals to 0. Now, let's also review on some properties of scalar product. Number 1, vector a dot vector a is equals to magnitude of a squared. Number 2, a dot b is equals to b dot a. Number 3, a dot b plus c is equals to a dot b plus a dot c. Number 4, m times a dot b is equals to m a dot b also equals to a dot b times scalar m and 0 times a is equals to 0. Lastly, we have already learned about the direction cosine of a vector. Cos alpha is equals to the component a1 divided by magnitude a. Cos beta equals to component a2 divided by magnitude a. And cos gamma is equals to component a3 divided by magnitude a. Finally, if we are looking for the direction angle or the cosine angle of a vector, we just need to take alpha equals to cos inverse of component A1 divided by magnitude A for angle beta that is equals to cos inverse of A2 over magnitude A and for the angle of gamma that is equals to cos inverse of A3 divided by magnitude of A. Now, before we end our lecture for today, so please try to do this question and fill in the answer as a proof of your attendance for today. So, I hope that you are able to understand our lecture for today and I hope that our learning objective is achieved. So, please check uh, your understanding and make sure that you don't hesitate to ask around if you have any problems. So, see you in the next lecture. Thank you.